Boys and girls, thank you very much for coming out on what really can't be described as a good day to help us launch the the Burrell project, the Build a Burrell. The, the slogan says it's the most exciting thing that the SAC has ever done, and I think it's probably true. It's certainly the biggest project we've ever done. We've uh, never embarked on anything even remotely this of this scale. We uh, Obviously, it wouldn't be possible without the help of the people who are, you know, the, the, the financial and practical help of the people who are, who are making it possible for us. And to start off with, the very first of those, of course, has to be Steam Traction World, who have uh, been exceedingly generous in what they're letting us, what they're letting us get away with, I think is probably the way to phrase it. <laughs> um, the, the project started about a year ago. Uh, Elaine here and, and Helen actually were having a, a, a sit down and I think how can we inject a little bit more life into the SAC. The SAC seemed to be stagnating slightly and they came up with I think it was one and a half pages of bullet points. Five. Okay, five pages of bullet points. I only saw the one and a half, it had been condensed by the time I saw it. One of those bullet points was why don't we build a miniature engine? Actually get the apprentice is building a miniature engine. It's one thing just to sort of wander out and stand and polish an engine for a bit and so on, but you don't learn much about the engineering of it. So we came up with this conclusion that what we, the youngsters need to do is actually build an engine. Obviously we can't start off with a full size, a two inch is too small. We actually initially aimed for a three inch, but steam traction will don't build one, so it has to be a four inch. <laughs> um, today, we are hoping to actually put you know, span it a nut on the very start of the project. We've, we've had the kits being delivered slowly over the last month or two, or month or ten actually, uh, but today we're actually going to start and the aim very clearly is that this locomotive will be built in two years. The NTET are doing another one of its road runs courtesy of the Bedford Club in September 2014 and this engine will be in steam on that day. I've been told that by the project manager and uh, that's what we're going to uh, aim for. If we don't, it won't be for want of trying. <laughs> um, that's a very brief history of, of where we are. We've been very fortunate so far in the, the help and sponsorship uh, uh, sponsorship board isn't in here. If you look in the, just inside the tent there, there's a list of those companies and people who have been generous towards us. Um, we thank all of you very much because we couldn't do without you. Uh, uh, the, the SAC is a, is a small club. We have 450 or so members at the moment. It's, uh, there's no way it could fund an event like this by itself. So we do need and do very much appreciate your help. I, can't, I mean, I, I've got two hats on because my the company I work for is one of the sponsors. So I, the, 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 our company uniform is exactly the same colour blue. So I should have sewn a portrait logo on it. But um, I think at this point I want to. Where is Mr. Herring? You're going to say a few words, aren't you? Yep. Is it Mr. Herring or Mr. Stemple who's saying a few words? No, 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 it's the yeah. chairman's, chairman's job. It's the chairman's job, is it? Right. <laughs> you can, it's nice to see these things are well organised, isn't it? You know. So, for those of you who don't know, this is Robert Herring, he is chairman of the NTET. And I'll pass over to you. Nice to be dropped in it, John, again. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, from the point of view of the Trust, I think this is an important milestone. Uh, we talk a great deal of late of the position of the Trust. We're 60 years nearly down the line, and the generation that started it is fast disappearing. And it's the younger element that's most important to make sure uh, the hobby continues, and the engines have continued to be used. So all the support that we can give to that is uh, very important. John mentioned about sponsors and, and uh, there's no uh, end to that. Anyone that's interested in 
financial support will be welcomed. Obviously the trust itself is uh, at the back of it, uh, but uh, we're always looking for funding. Uh, I know uh, John and the team have got uh, free giving children an opportunity all over to build it, and likewise uh, for the general public to see how it's progressing. So I hope you'll take an interest in that. Um, but I really doesn't mean to, me to say any more only to wish them success but also to remind John what he's just said that we're going to see a finished article for the road run at Bedford and there's an, plenty of witnesses here for that. John will see to that won't he? <laughs> but I'm sure you will achieve it and uh, we look forward to seeing the progress as it goes along. Thank you. Thank you very much Robert and uh, like I say, we uh, will make every effort to make sure it is there. The, uh, the next person I'd like to introduce is, well, his face will be familiar, familiar to many of you. Anybody got any boiler ass in the back, thing? Um, his face will be familiar to many of you, even if you don't actually know him in person, because all those of you who read Old Glory will see his mugshot at the front of every magazine. Got inside him. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Fun, isn't it? Yeah. Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, boys and girls, parents, um, we hear a lot from in the last month. We've heard a lot of one word, and that word has been a legacy. And of course, that's been involved in the Olympic Games and what legacy London 2012 is going to bring to us. But this is our legacy. This is the steam and vintage preservation legacy right behind me here. And they're uh, very supportive parents. Thank you very much. And um, that's the legacy that's important to us. We are all our steam and vintage kit that we've got at home or here. That's just that's just going to outlive all of us. And we are merely the caretakers of all the equipment that we have. And these are the guys of the generation that's going to be looking at buying stuff at auctions and. Uh, or hopefully be bequeathed something nice and big to, to go and steam. There's a lot of, of course, steam engines pass from generation to generation in the families, and uh, it's nice to see the youngsters being involved. Um, it's especially nice for me today um, to be involved uh, with this project because uh, 30 years ago um, we did exactly the very self same thing at the Blue Barari in Sussex that I'm involved with, and we started the Stepney Club which is basically, everyone's heard of Stepney, the Bluebell engine. It's one of the uh, Reverend uh, Audrey's Thomas, the tank engine characters in one of his books. And we started a Stepney club uh, for the junior school ages, and it was very much like this. It was all, um, you know, fairy cakes and tea parties and that sort of thing. Um, and then they were leaving at the age of 11. I thought, well, what a waste, you know, what do we do after that? So uh, we, then joined, we then did something called a 9F club, which was a bigger, dirtier, blacker engine. And, uh, and we get them involved, and then now they uh, clean out boiler tubes and empty ash pans out and stuff like that, and actually get involved with lots of different aspects of the railway, and they are, of course, again, our volunteers of tomorrow. So that's another way of how we keep steam preservation uh, going. So uh, having been involved with that project and, uh, and the volunteers there, it's especially nice to see that, of course. Firstly, um, thank you to all the other sponsors, Steam Traction World, uh, especially for the engine. Um, if the, I, I believe that Steam Traction World is certainly uh, one of the most go-ahead uh, builders of miniature engines uh, that we have in this country today. Uh, they're very proactive, and I, I, I thank um, Steve and the gang at Steam Traction World for the engine because they really are they really are good guys. In fact, if, they, if we had an award in the magazine for the best designed advert. Um, or the most effort put into an advert uh, because they've always got something different to say and it's always a pleasure to see what an advert's going to look like. I've just seen them in the corner now, embarrass, <laughs> embarrass me now. <laughs> so well, well done guys and thanks for the engine. Um, something that, that kids like a lot of course is, uh, is cartoons and we do have a cartoon in uh, Old Glory magazine, uh, good old Isaac and Bluebell. They've been with Old Glory almost as long, long since uh, the magazine started. And uh, what I'd like to do is, um, the guy Pete Wilford, the cartoonist, um, before it comes out in the magazine,
these guys do like the cartoon all hand drawn every cartoon every month is hand drawn and large scale and then we build then we reduce it down in size to fit the page width and um, what I'd like to do is donate a whole box full of these original hand coloured cartoons to the, um, to the SAC so they can sell them at whatever they like towards your funds for the uh, for all works absolute works of art I'm sure, I'm sure we don't play the cartoonists what they're worth, but we're doing them anyway. So uh, you've got a whole, I've got a whole bunch in the, in the car of cartoons uh, for you. Might, 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 might raise a couple of bob. More important than a couple of bob is, um, on behalf of Old Glory magazine and its publishers, publishers Morton's Heritage Media, is to give you uh, a cheque for £300 from Old Glory magazine. I'll give that to Elaine. Thank you very much. Yep. <laughs> We're taking it. I wish you. I'm just afraid the ink might run. Top of it is our cows department. They don't just give you a check. They give you like a A4 sheet of rubbish on top of it. Just get <laughs> find find the dotted line and tear. That looks very much like a check to me. Is that better? That's good. Thank you very much, Colin. You're very welcome. Colin, hold it up again. Thank you. All right, um, oh, oh dear, we need to get this thing done, don't we? Um, it invited me to launch a project where well, there's all not a lot to launch, is there? Well, I mean, firstly, I can't bring any champagne because we can't have apprentices drinking champagne. Secondly, there's nothing to smash it against because there's nothing built yet. <laughs> so um, I think. <laughs> but we have we have got a selection of parts over here, and there will be teas, coffees, and cakes served. Yeah, more cake. So if uh, <laughs> we don't want to do, because I have to officially say the project has now started, you've got two years to build a project, you've got one week to uh, finish the wheels, I understand. So if you just hold the mic, Elaine, I declare the project. Okay. Okay.